Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne and welcome to Coffee and Cash. Here on this channel, I hope to motivate you and inspire you to save more and spend less. Okay, in today's video, I am finally going to be counting up my February savings challenge. Um, it is, I believe, April 7th, and I'm just getting around to this. So let's open up my savings binder. And in here, I have my March savings challenge. If you are new to my challenge, or if you're new to my channel, I did a rainbow mini savings challenge last month. And each day I allotted myself a certain amount of spending money in my wallet envelopes. And what was left over, I tracked each and every day. So I did add this up um, already off camera. And so this just indicates what I saved per day, but I also did save money um, as far as week ending, because there was only certain categories in my wallet that I was doing this for, and then categories like groceries and gas, whatever was left over from that, I did not add on to these totals. So as you can see here, I saved $364 in cash, $16.82 in coin. So that totaled for the whole month, $380.82. We will only be stuffing it's actually 365. I made it even. I pulled a dollar from my wallet. Um, so we, 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 we will be stuffing $365. So the weekend savings, this right here, what was, um, no, take that again. The March challenge savings, the daily categories that I was um, saving per day were spending, eating out, and coffee, those three categories. So for the March challenge itself, I saved $219.58. And then out of my groceries and gas categories at the end of each week, which I pull either Friday morning or Thursday evening, I saved $161.24. So that's these two numbers equal the 380.82. So again, I will be stuffing $365 Today, these numbers reflect the 364, but 40% is going into my savings category, so that's $146, and 60% is going into my vacation fund, which is 200, it'll be like $220 or $219, because I added the extra dollar. So let's get to counting and making sure we have all the money here. So let me know down below, did you um, follow along with me on my March savings challenge? And if you did, how much did you save? Or did you do your own challenge? I'm just going to separate the monies because it's all um, mixed up. So let me know. Let me, how much, let me know how much you saved in the month of March. And as you can tell, I talk faster than my mouth can process so I'm sorry about that sometimes all right let's get this all put into my cash tray all right so there it is all sorted out I am going to be bringing out my trusty calculator because I cannot be trusted counting on camera so we have 100 in 100 dollar bills 50 150 dollar bills 20 40 60 80 120 dollar bills 10 10 dollars and 10 dollars 5 10 15 20 in in fives and then in ones one we're sticking together one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, oh my goodness, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So indeed, $365 because I added that $1 bill. All right. So let's get to stuffing. 
All right, I'm going to stuff into my savings binder here. So <clears throat> in my emergencies, I am going to be stuffing $29. And this is my 1K, no, this is not. This is just my emergency fund. And I already have $400 in the bank for that. So I have $429 total. And then I'm gonna be stuffing $29 again in my 1K savings. Okay. And I have $300 in my 1K savings, so I have $329. I just broke it up evenly. I'm putting 40% into my savings into each category. So each category will be getting $29. Wedding, 25. Six, seven, eight, nine. This is for future weddings for my adult daughters, just so I can contribute somewhat for when they get married. So I have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 dollars. So 49 dollars into there, 29 into this children's fund. And this is for future grandchildren. <clears throat> I have two grown adult daughters. One is 27 and one is 23. No plans on grandchildren or weddings yet, unfortunately. But, you know, it's good to start saving. So I have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 in the children's fund also. I just started these two categories this year. And then investments, investments, I'm going to be putting in 29 there, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, okay. And then that means if this wants to open, I have, I should have 49 in here. So I have 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. All right. And then this is the start of my April savings challenge. And I am just going to put this in here. And each month I wrote down where I out reallocated all my money. So at the end of the year, we can count it up and see how we did. So that is it for my savings binder. And next is going to be my vacations binder. So in this category, I'm stuffing 60% of what I saved in March. And each category technically is getting 73. So that's like $219. And this is where the extra dollar came in. I think there's um, 220 we're going to be stuffing. So I'm just going to break this up as how I see fit. It's just not going to be specific, like $73 in each category. So the first category, I'm going to be stuffing 150 into transportation. I still need to purchase my um, plane ticket. I need to do that this week. I keep putting it off and I don't know why. Um, this money is going towards my Puerto Rico trip with my youngest daughter at the end of, towards the end of June. And she, like I said, she's an adult. She's going to be paying for her part. So this is only my part. So I have 100. That's not right. Okay, we have 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, $420 in transportation. Next is entertainment. This I am only going to be stuffing, I need to ramp this up here. In entertainment, oh, I was stuffing 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and 20 and 50 is 70. So I have $70 in entertainment. And I am going to be stuffing $50 into food. So that is a total of $150 for that. 
So that is it. Short and sweet for my um, March savings challenge. So thank you everybody for watching. Comment down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like, share this video. Again, I like to motivate you to save more and spend less. The cash budgeting system has um, really, really helped me. It's added an extra vacation this year. Uh, I just got back from Disney a couple of weeks ago and it has helped me have that extra cash that um, on hand when I need it and not have to charge anything or go into debt on um, this this I I, ra I have to rave about the cash envelope system and the zero based budgeting system. So please follow me for more tips and tricks and just motivation. And I will see you in my next one. Bye bye. Everybody.